What's going on you guys, it's Young Investor here, back with you with another video, and I'm going to be going over support and resistance with you uh, one more time, but this time I'm going to be explaining things in a little, you know, more in depth, more details of why I pick my levels, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, alright? So right now we're on the weekly, we're just going to start out by just getting our levels on the weekly, alright, so we got rejected up here, so the stock was pushing up somewhere, this is where I IP would that, it pushed up, got rejected at the area, right start selling off found some support around this area right and then it pushed up got rejected around this area and start selling off again all right so i picked this area right there because the price struggled to break above this level right here right excuse me and then it sold off down here it caught itself right it sold off caught itself that's why i picked support right there all right so when the stock catch itself from falling from falling down selling off more selling off a ton we call that a support area. So this resistance area, because it struggled to break above that level, that's where a lot of uh, sellers was holding the stock down at. It couldn't really push up more to hold the stock. It couldn't, it couldn't really push up more to keep running. So this is where it sold off at. Um, and it had a lot of selling pressure around this area. So this is resistance. It struggled to break above this level. It sold off down here. It caught itself right here. It stopped itself from selling off, from dropping more. So this is where support area is at. When buyers stepped in and push the stock back up and this is where I got rejected at right again and start selling off again so I picked this level right here because the stock got rejected by this level at this level this is where a seller stepped in and start selling the stock and start making the stock go down selling pressure make the stock go down buying pressure make the stock go up okay so over let me do that again it got rejected at this area so that's the resistance level it struggled to break above this 80 this 88 60 88.60 level right and then it sold off and if you look to the right over here, this is where the this is where the stock prices is where it was on the chart. So it was, it was at 88.60. You struggle to break above this level, sold off to this level to this 47.25 level, and then caught itself. So that support area, then it pushed up up here to this 67.25, 26 level, and got rejected and started selling off again, back to the support, broke the support, came down, found some support right here, right? Found some support right here at this wick because that's where the buyer stepped in and pushed it back up and it came back up here to the support area from back here and got rejected basically got rejected got rejected got rejected it couldn't really push above this blue line and that's one one thing i want to explain to you guys as well this support area support can turn to resistance so as you can see this support area turned to resistance when the stock sold off and started trying to go back up right here turned to resistance shot it down so support can turn into resistance so this support area turned to resistance right here push the stock down push back up to the support area, still holding that resistance, pushing the stock down more and more and more, and then finally pushed up and then sold off, all right? So we could put this at resistance level up here because it pushed up up here and then sold off. And then it caught itself down here at this 1456 level at the lows, all time lows. And so we will call that support level because that's where buyers stepped in and started push, pushing the stock back up, all right? And we could call this a resistance level because it's struggling to break above this level right here at 30, 32, Point thirteen, right? Because it pushed up, came down. That's gonna be our resistance level, right? Now we could get a little closer on a daily and see exactly what is going on. All right, see exactly what is going on. So the stock, the stock, we're gonna put our resistance level. All right, so let me just zoom in over here. So the stock, IP do pushed up, sold off. So it's a resistance level over here, right? And then pushed up. So let me, let me explain that one more time. The stock IPO, right? IPO, what mean, which means one public in the market, pushed up, got rejected up here, sold off, found some support over here, then pushed up, got rejected at the area again, and sold off again, broke the support level, came down to this support level, pushed back up, turned in, this this is and also support level can turn to resistance. So it sold off, pushed back up, turned this support area down here until. Turn, sorry about that. Turn this resistance area right here and into support and start running again. Because once the stock breaks the support area, when the stock goes back up to this level, you want to look for this level to act as a seller, a seller level, which means a resistance level. Basically, when a stock would push back up to this level, uh, usually it will fall back down, which it did. But buyers push, came in and pushed it up more. Uh, so usually, uh, this a support can turn to resistance. So it was acting as support over here right and it sold off breaking the support area right here came down went back up to that level this support area where over here it turns to support over here right this was the support 
This could have been acting as resistance right here and made the stock come down because support can turn into resistance. So this could have happened right here where it broke the support, came back up to that level and then sold, sold off more. Let me just remove this. All right. So that's support. And, and so this, this support area could have turned into resistance on its way back up. So it could have went back up, turned to resistance. This support area right, could have turned to resistance and made the stock come down. All right. I hope you understand that. I'm going to explain it to you a little bit more in a one-on-one -on -one session. All right. If you don't understand. All right. So then the stock pushed up, came back down to the resistance level and then ran. All right. So this this was supposed to act as resistance. It, it did somewhat bring the stock down a little bit, but not too much. Pushed up, came back down to it, turned back into support and then ran. All right. Ran to this resistance, resistance, resistance. Resistance. Resistance is a, is a price the stock is struggling to break above. All right. So the stock was struggling to break above this area right here. Bro struggled to break above this level one, two, three times. Finally, it uh, sold off again. Found some support right here, right where where uh, the stock, the buyers came in and held it up. So support is where buyers step in and hold the stock up. Resistance is where sellers step in and bring the stock down. So every time the stock gets up to this level, sellers will step in and bring the stock down. Sellers will step in, sellers step in, buyers step in right here. This is support area where the, where the stock court is up at. Buyers step in and push the stock back up, push it past this resistance level where it kept getting rejected at, turn that resistance level into support, right? Pushed up, turned it into support, and made a run. Found a new, found, made a new support over here. All right, so let me just explain that to you a little bit more. All right, so, Resistance levels can turn to support. Support levels can turn to resistance. All right, depending on which the stock is doing, if it turn, if it come back down a level and hold. So this was a resistance level because it struggled to break above this area, right? It struggled to break above this area one time, two times, three times. Finally, pushed above it, right? Pulled back to it. The area fell to break above, held above it, turning it into support. So this resistance level now turned into support, and the stock pushed up. Okay. But it did find some more resistance up here because it did push up, come back down, which means it was some resistance level right there. Now, why was it some resistance level right there? Why was it some resistance level right here? Because it pushed up, got rejected right here, it struggled to keep going, right? And then came down, which means it's resistance level right there, which means seller stepped in and sold and, and, and brought the price down. And then it finally pushed back above and sold off again. All right. And then, some, and then found some support right here. So you could put a support area right there as well. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit more. So I, get, I just wanted to go over that with you. Now let's get right back to support and resistance levels. All right, so I do want to remove some of these levels because I do want to see a clean chart. Okay, so that look a little okay. All right, so if now we're just this, this is the daily, right? This is the daily. Uh, let's zoom in over here, get a little bit more details of what's going on. All right, so the stock. Broke this support area, came down, found some support down here, pushed up, got rejected. So we're gonna put our we're gonna put our resistance over here. Let me remove that. Put a resistance because that's where it got rejected at and then came down, found some support right there. Support because the buyers held it up, make it start pushing that up. So it pushed up, got rejected. This is gonna be a resistance level. Sold off, came down, found some support level, buyer stopped then pushed it back up, back to that resistance level, came back down, found some support right there, and then buyer stopped then and then pushed it back up to the area. And that's where we at now. All right, now let's go a little closer to the four hour from the daily to the four hour now. All right, so now um, let's go into details of what's going on now. What what do we expect going on now? But we can also zoom in right here and see what's going on. So the stock sold off right there, pushed up, came back down. There's some support area around this level. Why is it support area on this level? Let me zoom in and explain. So the stock found some support area right there, pushed up, came back down. And if buyers held it up right there, pushing it back up, finding some resistance level around this level, right? And then came back down, finding some support at this level and this level. So we're just going to keep it right there at this level, though, because that's a little bit better because it bounced there twice before, right there, right there, and right there, right? So pushed up, came back down, pushed up, came back down, pushed up, came back down. So this is a strong support area we can see at this 40, this 40 ish level. And it kept getting rejected right here one time. Two times, three times, four times. So this is a strong resistance level. It kept getting rejected up here at this 45 level. So this 45 dollar level is a strong resistance level, right? Kept getting rejected up here. And it kept bouncing over here at this 40 level. That's a strong support. So buyers were stepping in at 40, sellers were stepping in at 50. 
All right, so it was resistance at this, sorry about that, 45. It was resistance level at this 45 level, right? And because it struggled to break above 45. And it was support level at this 40 level because it struggled to go below that level. So if, if, if it's holding up above that level, it's support. If it, if it keep getting rejected at a certain level, can't go above a certain level, it's resistance, just like this. It struggled to go below this level right here, which means support right here. It struggled to break above this level, which means resistance is right there. Came back down, struggled to go back below this level. It couldn't go below this level, which means support is right there. Came back up, um, and it showed us that uh, it's a lot of uh, sellers right here, which means every time it gets to this 45 level, sellers will bring it down. It finally pushed it above, came back down, turned this resistance into support, and it started running again. All right, and it ran up here. It was going to mean it's going to be a resistance up here because it came back down right over there. All right, I could put a resistance right here because it pushed it up, got rejected. I could put a resistance right there if I wanted to. All right, because that's where a resistance level is because it got rejected at that level. All right, so let, let's just zoom in a little bit more. I'm just going over what I see. Okay. So you can go do some of these levels, keep certain levels you want that you think is strong enough, that, that you think is stronger than others is up to you, all right? So we sold off, found some support right here, which means buyer stepped in and brought it back up, got rejected at this level, seller stepped in and brought the price down, which means this was a resistance, support, which means buyer held it up, it, it, it failed to keep going down at this level, which means buyer stepped in and held it up, resistance, seller stepped in and it's made it stop down because it, it failed to go above this 30 70 this 30.75 73 area all right S support around this 20.75 area buyer stepped in pushed it back up that's why that that is what we see that is how you're finding a support and resistance levels now if you want to you could go do these you could go do some of these some of these uh levels and keep which ones you think are stronger than others it's up to you but the, for me uh i do like for the strong levels i would put like Thicker, thicker line. So I know this is a real strong level. I will make this like a real thicker line. It's up to you. It's your preference. I know this is a strong level, so I will make that like a thicker line. It's up to you. All right. Again, I know this is a strong support area. Make it a thicker line. All right. Just to make it stand out versus other levels. Okay. This is a strong support area where a quarter self at. So I'm gonna make it stand out. Make them stand out so you can understand the difference. This is a strong resistance area. So make it stand out. You want to make the strong level stand out from the not so strong levels. So I know this this was an all time high. That's a strong level. It kept catch it keep it keep catching itself at it keep getting rejected at this level, and that's a strong level. Got rejected, 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 rejected. It keep getting rejected at this level. Okay, so that's a strong level. All right, so I could remove that level if I wanted to and just actually just fix it and put it like up here, right? Put it like right like at that level if I wanted to make it look a little better. Make it look a little bit better, okay? And we could, if we wanted to, we could bring this out all the way over here because that's a support area, basically, right? Just fix things. You want to just adjust things and it start looking better as you adjust them. So let's see. We did adjusting. We did a bunch of adjusting. Uh, this, is, this is a strong area, too. It got rejected. As you can see, this is a resistance area. Pushed down, pushed back up, got rejected. Couldn't get above this level. And if I zoom out, that same level from right there, it got rejected over here as well. Couldn't get above this level, right? So if I wanted to, I could make this stand out from the other ones because it got rejected there multiple times, which means that is a strong level as well, right? That is a strong level as well. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it regular, only due to the fact that I don't want too many strong levels uh, notice, noticeable um, standing out right now because I mean you want to do that. But it's not it's not super it's, it's a super strong level but that's my preference to keep to keep I, I see a level there it's up to you to keep that you know sticking out it's up to you all right and let me see and as we put a support and resistance levels this just tell us where the stock is going to be headed next all right so the stock got rejected up here we know that's a lot of sellers at this 30 30.75 area 31 area right because every time I hit this area, it will sell off. Every time I hit this area, it will sell off. Every time I hit this area, we back at the area again, right? We back at this area again. So what do this stock need to do for it to keep running, right? So this is resistance level because every time I hit this area, it will drop. So seller step in right here and bring the stock down. So that's a resistance level. Pushed up again. Seller step in again, brought the stock down. Quarter stuff right here. So buyer step in and push it up. So that's a support area. Buyer stepped in and push the stock back up. So that's a support area, right? Okay. For this thing to um, push up, it will need to push up past this resistance area, 
turn it into support and then run um, if it don't it's going to keep getting rejected every time it comes up here every time it come up here it's going to keep getting rejected keep getting rejected every single time for the push up this is what it need to do break the resistance level this right here pull back establish that level as a support and then run if it don't do that it's going to keep coming down every time it, every time we get up there come down come down come down every single time so that's what you want to see for a stock uh, for for a lift to keep to keep running up all right for a lift to keep running up and if you want to you could you could pull this over here you can see this look at this pull this over here why did I do that because it uh, gap down from right there right there so that's a gap level as well okay and then it helps support right there help support right there help support right there pushed up help support right there pushed up help support right there again so that's why I did that okay all right and if you wanted to you could pull it up a little bit more to make it touch the body really up to you really up to you really okay so that's how you do support and resist level and that's how you think okay excuse me if you want to check this out sorry about that this video is going to be a little longer than others only due to the fact that i want to go in a little bit more details all right so the stock sold off pushed up got rejected around this level that's why i got that line right there i'm gonna bring it a little over bring it a little over Okay, let's load it. There we go. Bring it a little over. There we go. Got rejected around there. It came. As you can see, it pushed up, got rejected right there. It came down. Finally broke above it. Found some support down here when it sold off. So if I wanted to, I could put some support area right here. Right? If I wanted to. Alright. Um, start pushing up again, got rejected at that level. That's a resistance. Came down, held support at this level. So it held right there, which means it stopped dropping right there. Stop dropping, stop dropping, pushed up, stop dropping, pushed up, resistance, can't get breaking by that level, came back down, holding the butters level, which means it's support at this area. Finally broke down, found a new support up here, buyer stuff, man. Push it back up, right? Push it back up. Keep getting rejected at this area over here, which means resistance is strong at this area. Reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it. All right, for this thing to push it up, you need to break above, pull back, establish it as support, and then run. You need to turn this resistance into support to run, okay? So the stock needs to break above, break above this resistance area right here, right? Push above it, right? Pull back to it. It don't got to pull exactly right to it. It can pull back to it a little bit, right? But keep running. So it need to break above it, pull back to the level, and then run. Or break above it, pull back a little bit, and then run. You just need to, it just we just need to see a higher low above it, or come right back to it. This will be a higher low, or push above, don't come exactly to it, and then keep running. But right here, pushed above, came exactly back to it, and then ran, which means it now looked bullish. All right, you guys? So that's what we look for. All right, and any more questions? I will go into more details on this if you have any more questions about this.